Hey sports fans, Coach Nick here and welcome to our weekly coverage of the Basketball Champions League. 31 countries are represented, 18 national champions, 52 teams, and an 8-month schedule combined for an exciting brand of action-packed basketball. Each week, I'll break down a specific game so you can keep up with your favorite teams and players. This week, we had an epic game with lots of drama. On the last day of the regular season, Saratov needed a win to make the playoffs and Le Mans tried to stay alone in first place. Le Mans gets into their offense early, running a nifty weave across the top into a pick and roll. Jordan Watson finds space and rises up, release, splash. On the turnover, Saratov looks to attack and Nick Minarath leads the break, a perfect give and go for the alley-oop and the lead by Le Mans is cut to four points. Later in the first, Saratov look to run their offense through the low post and check out Wilfred Yagetti on the weak side. He loses sight of his man and Minarath puts the exclamation point on the nice back door with the sick reverse throwdown. Nick Minarath was named the MVP of the week and he couldn't be stopped as he brings it up, finds an opening, then gets the little lefty finger roll off the glass. And he did damage from the outside too, as Konate falls asleep while watching the pick and roll. Nice hook pass by Sergei Bikov finds Minarath for the three-pointer. In the second half of a tight game, Minarath makes a bad pass. It's picked off and Lamont is starting to get some separation. At the end of the third quarter, great execution of the offense by Lamont as they run Konate off a pin down send the point guard through with a back screen, then flow him around a weak side pin down into a handoff, and then into a ball screen. And the defense played this perfectly, containing everything. So Lamont was left with having to take a long three as the shot clock wound down, and boom, Jelabale nails the tough shot. We move into the fourth, and Lamont throws the ball away, triggering the fast break. For a second, it looked like they'd missed their chance to lay up for Kolesnikov, but Minarath finds him and the game is now tied. Saratov runs a sideline pick and roll and the defense blasts the ball handler. On the pass to the roll man, Konade must rotate over and pick him up. Instead, he moves away from the ball, allowing the layup. Lamont played perfect defense on this pick and roll, but Konade watches the ball for a second too long. Kolesnikov beats him back door, and Josh Adams finds him for the nice little reverse. Down one, Saratov runs the pick and roll and watch the defense double. Perfect retreat dribble by Adams gets him space to penetrate. Hamlin must read this and see that his teammate is in position in the lane and he can't help one pass away. Certainly not off Minarath, who buries the wide open three. As the game got down to the wire, Saratov runs a double step up screen. Brandon Frazier finds a sliver of daylight and he buries the clutch three. With plenty of time left, Maman gets into the lane but Pearson can't hit the floater and really makes matters worse by fouling and giving Saratov two points at the foul line. Only down by three, Maman gets the stop and has plenty of time. There was no need to shoot a three just yet and they end up taking too much time to get a good attack, leaving Beekoff in the lane not guarding anybody. When the driving kick comes, no one is on Corneli, but he can't knock down the jumper. And that was their last chance as Saratov moves on to the playoffs. Stay tuned next week as we'll break down even more highlights from some of the most exciting basketball Europe has to offer. The Basketball Champions League.